Good morning everyone. Welcome to Narayan online video classes. Today for class 7 under the topic logarithms we are going to study few more problems related to laws of logarithms. Yesterday in, in our previous class we have solved few problems related to laws of logarithms. Even today we are going to solve few more important questions based on laws of logarithms. Okay. What are the laws we have? Just let us recap. Uh, first law that is related to law of addition log x to the base a plus log y to the base a is log x y to the base a. That is second law or uh, we can say it as quotient law that is log x to the base a minus log y to the base a is log x by y to the base a. Third one is law of power that is third law otherwise we can say that log x to the power of m to the base a is m times log x to the base a. These are the three very important laws. In addition to that even we have seen some important results based on that we are going to solve these problems. If you look at the first problem what it is saying find the two integral values of n means values of n must be integers that is what which satisfy the equation here in this equation what is involved logarithm is involved. So we are studying log this problem under logarithms now 2 log n to the base a minus log 3n minus 4 to the base a is equal to log 2 to the base a. Now let us start doing this. What is given equation? Given equation. What is that? 2 log n to the base a minus log 3n minus 4 to the base a is equal to log 2 to the base a. That is otherwise log, let us apply the law of powers that is n square to the base a minus log 3n minus 4 to the base a that is equal to log 2 to the base a that is otherwise. See here second law of logarithms if you apply we will get log n square by 3n minus 4 to the base a that is equal to log 2 to the base a. If you look at that on either sides of equality we have log of same base so we can make the arguments equal therefore we can say n square by 3n minus 4 that is equal to 2. If you further simplify that n square is equal to 6n minus 2 fours are 8 that is otherwise n square minus 6n plus 8 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation we have to solve it we can split the middle term so that to get the factors easily. If you look at the product of a and c that is 1 into 8 8 so 8 we can write as 2 fours 2 fours that is 8 minus 2 times minus 4 because the middle term is minus 6. So we can write it as n square minus 2n minus 4n plus <coughs> is equal to 0 that is otherwise n times n minus 2 minus 4 times n minus 2 that is 0 that is otherwise n minus 2 times n minus 4 is 0 therefore n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 4 these are the two integral values here after getting n value also we have to have a recheck what is that if you take n n 2 or 4 n is positive so this is valid 3 n minus 4 3 times if you take n as 2 3 times 2 6 minus 4 2 valid if you take n 3 4 12 minus 4 8 valid here of course there is no n so we have to recheck even after getting the values we have to substitute the values in the given equation and we have to verify whether it is satisfying the basic conditions of log or not what are the basic conditions logarithm is not defined for negative as well as even 0 log 0 is not defined it is only defined for positive real numbers so we have to check that whether the argument is positive or not. Second point if you have n value in the base base must be positive real number at the same time base should not be 1 that condition also we have to cross check once whenever we are solving such questions. Of course anyway in this problem there is no such problem both the values of n are satisfying the conditions of logarithm so that n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4 with the two integral values of the uh, that are satisfying the given equation ok. Now we will move to the next question. The next question is solve for x and y the simultaneous equations First one is log xy to the base 3 is equal to 5 and 
log x to the base 3 into log y to the base 3 is equal to 6. Okay, give your answer. As simple, as simply as possible. Okay, then it means as simply as the sense in lowest term, so we have to give the answer. Fine. Let us start the solution. If you take log x y to the base three, what I'm trying to do is, let me take log three to the base x as some a, log y to the base three as some b. Let us take like that. Now log x y to the base 3 is 5. So, according to this, x power a is 3, here it is x to the base 3, so x to the base 3, okay. So, according to this, x is equal to 3 power a and y is equal to 3 power b, that is, that is certain condition. And also we have log x y to the base 3 is equal to 5. So, we have, we can write it as x y is 3 power 5 uh, that is x y is x is 3 power a so that is 3 power a into 3 power b so that is 3 power a plus b is 3 power 5 therefore a plus b is 5 a plus b is 5 similarly log x to the base 3 that is a into b a into b is 6 it is condition 1 and it is condition 2 these two conditions let us solve in getting the values of a and b. Now, how can you do that? a minus b whole square we have as a plus b whole square minus 4ab. So, that is otherwise this is an identity we have in finding a minus b value. So, a minus a minus b whole square we have to get so that we can get a minus b. Once you know a minus b, a plus b and a minus b can be solved. Thereby, you can find out a value as well as b value. Now, what is a plus b phi square? minus 4 times 6 that is 25 minus 24 that is 1 therefore a minus b is either plus 1 or minus 1 let us take it as 1 uh, or plus or minus 1 if you take first case the first case is if a is equal to 1 one possible case a minus b is equal to 1 and a plus b is of course 5 if you solve them we have 2a is 6 that implies a is equal to 3. If a is 3, uh, based on the first condition, 3 plus b is equal to 5, b is equal to 2. So, a is 1 and b is 2. Okay. In this case, here we have uh, log x to the base 3 as a we have taken. So, x is equal to 3 power a. So, x is equal to 3 power a, that is 3 power 3, that is 27. And y is equal to 3 power b, that is equal to 3 power b is 3 square that is equal to 9, x is 27 and y is 9. Now let us take the other condition. What is the other condition? If a minus b is equal to minus 1, then a plus b is of course 5. Solve them. b b cancels 2a is equal to 4, a is equal to 2, then b is certainly equal to 3 because a plus b is equal to 5 we have. Now x is equal to 3 power a that is 3 square that is 9 y is equal to 3 power b that is 3 cube that is 27. So, we have two sets of values. One is x 27 y 9, second is x 9 and y 27. Both the conditions will satisfy the given two simultaneous equations. I converted them into exponents and did it. Not only that even using logarithms laws also we can solve it. Fine. Now, let us move to the next problem. Next problem is if log 2 to the base 10 that is 0 0.3010 then find the value of log 30 to the power of 5 to the base 10. Okay, this is another model question. Solution given log 2 to the base 10 is 0 0.3010. Let us keep it aside. Now, let us take the condition log 32 to the power of 5 to the base 10 that is equal to 
we can write it as log 32 can be written as 2 power 5. 2 power 5 whole power 5. That is 2 to the power of 5 whole power 5 to the base 10. That is otherwise log 2 to the power of 5 whole power 5. A power m whole power n is a power mn. That is 2 power 25 to the base 10. So that is otherwise according to the third law, law of powers we can write it as 25 log 2 to the base 10. That is 25 times. So what is log 2 to the base 10? 0 0.3010. So what will be the answer now? That is, okay. So we are going to have it as 7 point. So 301 times 25 that is 2. 25, 37, 325 is 75. So it is 7.525. That will be the required answer for this particular question. Okay. Now we will move to the next question. The next question is <coughs> the value of log log 81 to the base 3 of course here the base 2 log of log 81 to the base 3 to the base 2 that is the question what is the answer for this solution we have log of log 81 to the base 3 to the base 2 that is first you have to simplify this then we have to go for the next log so if you look at this this is log of log this 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4 to the base 3 and here the base 2 that is log log 3 to the power of 4 but the base 3 means 4 will come before it so this is 4 log 3 to the base 3 to the base 2 that is log 4 times log 3 to the base 3 is 1 so it is 4 times 1 the answer is 4 so we have 4 can be written as 2 square, let us write, that is 2 square to the base 2. So according to the power rule, this is 2 log 2 to the base 2, that is 2 times 1, that is equal to 2. So finally the answer is 2 for this particular question. So what did we do? First we have simplified this, before simplification 81 we wrote as 3 power 4, then it is power rule applied here, again 4 times log 3 to the base 3, it is 1, so 4 is 2 square, again power rule 2 times log 2 to the base 2, that is 1, so that is 2 times 1, that is 2. So here we are using power rule twice. Fine. Now let's move to the next question. The next question is <coughs> if log 27 to the base 3 is equal to A, then log 16 to the base 2 is equal to, there are the options given, 6 times 3 plus A by 3A. Second option, 3 times 3a by 3 plus a. Third one, 4 times 3a by 9 plus a. Fourth one, 4 times 3a by 3 plus a. Let us see what might be the right answer for this. Now, solution let us take. What is given? Log 27 to the base 3 is equal to a. That implies it is a very basic definition of logarithm. 3 to the power of a will become 27. That is otherwise 3 to the power of a is 27 can be written as 3 cube. So a will be 3. A value is 3. Now log 16 to the base 2 is nothing but log 2 to the power of 4 to the base 2. That is 4 log 2 to the base 2 according to the power rule. That is otherwise 4 times 1. That is 4. So actually speaking the answer for log 16 to the base 2 is 4. But out of the given 4 options, which is equal to 4 by considering A as 3? That's what we have to check. Now let us take the first option. 6 times 3 plus A by 3A. That is equal to 6 times 3 plus A. A is 3. 3 plus 3, that is 6 by 3 into A. 3, 3 is 9. So it is obviously 30, 6, 6 are 36 by 9. That is 4. Fine. Now let us do the second one. 3 times 3A by 3 plus A. That is equal to 3 times, 3 times a, 3 3 is are 9 by 3 plus a, that is 6. So that is 3. So this is not the right answer. This is the right answer, this is not the right answer. Third option, 4 times, 3 times a, that is 3 3 is are 9. Let us write 3a by 9 plus a. That is 4 times, 3 times a, that is 3 3 is are 9 by 9 plus a, that is 12. So that is also 3. So this is also not the right answer. 
Similarly, fourth one, if you check, 3a, 3 times of 4 times, 3 times of a, that is 3 times of 3, 9 by 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, that is 6. So here also it is 36 upon 6, that is 6. So out of this, out of all this, what is the right answer? 4 is equal to 4. So obviously the first option is the right answer for us. Okay, that is enough today.